This is the uh, smaller three bedroom uh, layout. So this is, uh, of course, to you to maximize the space a little bit more. And with your usually a three bedroom, you come in is a direct kitchen. But what they did manage to do is to tuck in this kitchen. Okay, which is a definitely a good touch, so that you not own you you do not have a direct line of sight for your kitchen into your dining space, and uh, they even be able to fit in even a round um, table for your dining. And the width for the living hall seems to be very very comfortable with the balcony. Space. So all the bedrooms you can see, uh, the common rooms can definitely fit in a queen bed and the master room a king bed configuration. So the big question is this, how busy professionals and homeowners like us make six-figure profits from the property we own safely? By doing it with research, data and numbers. How do we buy in a way without complications and half-guessing? regardless of the market conditions and still remain profitable? That is the question. Here, I will share with you exactly what we do and how we do it. My name is Simon Tan and welcome to Singapore Real Estate Insider. Alright, so you can see that the entire design is very not just urban city, but there's a lot of greens thanks to the architect Waha. Uh, they like to build in a lot of greens in this uh, sense to kind of give it a little bit more less urbanized, but you still get the nature where we are at, you know. So the space between the uh, buildings to buildings are also very comfortable. As I mentioned, some of them can stretch as far as 45 meters. And these are all what a, a very strong developer will always think about. You know, they will not just massively build a lot of properties. They will also have a lot more communal areas, a lot more greeneries, gardens to kind of give um, the consumers, the families a lifestyle living instead of staying in a concrete jungle. So even from the night view, you can see the, the kind of lifestyle that you can see yourself stay. But I just want to really run through some of the comparisons. Okay, so now we're going to go into the comparisons in terms of the prices, the numbers, so some of the residential properties comparable to housing uh, for the reserve residences uh, are just some of this, right? So we have Daintree, you know, which is a leasehold property. So they are about 800 uh, kilometer away, uh, 800 meters away. So basically the number of units and the average per square foot, this is where I want you guys to really study this a little bit more. So in, in Singapore Recent Insider, we use the five point analysis to kind of determine what is the correct entry price so that we can make it very safe for exit in future. So by not just looking at how much the property is going to launch, right? So developers are able to launch at any prices they want. But if we do our homework before that and we understand the property surrounding what is the average per, per, per square foot, we will be able to see it better uh, from the pricing and are we actually um, overpaying to some certain extent. Two-bedroom benchmark, you can see from... 2022, they're talking about 2002 to 2003 range, plus minus, okay, 2002 to 2003 range, depending on floor level. So this is the kind of expectation you can you can see in, in the Upper Bukit Timah area, Beauty World area. And let's just pull out another uh, project here where it's Forex. All right, so Forex for since 2000, sorry, two, 2018, 2019 is actually very popular because uh, a lot of uh, buyers in that location, they are looking at buying uh, into that kind of landed um, facilities, right? Which makes it a very tranquil kind of uh, lifestyle you know, among the lender properties and, and the consumers or homeowners there, they enjoy. They enjoy this kind of lifestyle where you're not high rise. You know? So some people don't like high rise. So let us take a look at the sale transactions and we are still having some new sales going on, uh, which is February this year for the 904. You can see about 2000. Of course, they are not uh, specifically like near to the MRT. They are near, but you stay, I have to either walk or you can just take a very short uh, one to do bus stops to the MRT. Uh, so in terms of price points, of course, they cannot price like what the link is because the link is practically the MRT is just right at your doorstep. And can they also market themselves higher like the reserve residences if let's say from $2,005 uh, PSF onwards? May not be. But I will say that for anyone who wants to kind of uh, go into the entire beauty world transformation and still enjoy the uh, the, the kind of transformation, the vibrancy of it, uh, you can actually explore a little bit further away and it's not going to break your bank. It's not definitely not going to break your bank because at $2,000 per square foot uh, back in 2018, 2019, this is considered high. But today, now you look back, is it very cheap? 
<laughs> okay, is it very cheap? All right. So another lease sold property. Okay, another lease sold property here. All right, about 186 units. So let's take a look at the sales for this. All right. So there are already sub sales for two bedrooms going about 2,000 square, two thousand dollars per square foot. All right. So the same thing. Uh, via Kismis also you need to kind of take walk it out to the MRT and they are they are very similar to Forex. All right, one or two bus stops to the MRT. So these are all. That's why their price are very attractive. Still below two thousand. All right, now if you are able to buy a transformation area with below two thousand dollars per square foot, uh, it's a steal lah. Verdell basically is also a leasehold property, all right, uh, with 258. Also low rise, very tucked in one corner where it's uh it, it's very quiet and you're you are away from all the bustling traffic and everything. So let's just take a look at the latest transactions in 2022 where the two bedrooms are already going at 1008. Can you see? So they are all hovering about 1007, 1008 to 1009 for prices away from the MRT. So if you are looking at um the to buy the reserve and the reserve, if they are going for 2500 plus us onwards in terms of per square foot you know what is the main kind of difference that you can see versus some of all this property whether it's Vidal, Via Kismis, Forex, Mayfair Modern you know how big of a difference is the prices and this is very crucial for us to study uh, for the gap in terms of your surrounding competition because one of the key things that we, we share for properties is if your surrounding properties are a very huge difference in terms of price point in terms of per square foot you know will you be ending up buying the most expensive in that location, which means you may need to hold on to that property longer so that you can capitalize your gain. This is where the uh, open car park is. So this is definitely in the pipeline to be launched for sale, uh, or to be bidded, to redevelop into a mixed development. So this is going to be quite exciting. It's going to be exciting to see all, all this mixed development being transformed. Okay.